normally our monthly rainfall totals 1.75 and we are at a deficit. I know, Heidi, we've been talking about it. We're starting to bridge the gap a little bit, but not quite. We're still falling short. More showers are expected tonight and more wet weather tomorrow as well. It stays unsettled through now Thursday. Remember yesterday I said Wednesday, but it looks like it's been extended through Thursday and then finally we'll get some sunshine in the mix on Friday. We may even get a hint of sunshine sometime during the day on Tuesday. But here's a look at our live radar. We're picking up a little bit of a break northern New Jersey, particularly around Sussex, but across the Hudson Valley, it's coming down in pockets where it's like heavy and also in eastern Long Island, Brookhaven looks to be a little bit more in the way of heavy rain right now and it's going to be kind of intermittent throughout the course of the evening. So local higher amounts are expected. There's that area of low pressure. It's centered over the Great Lakes. It's staying put. It's just going to continue to churn. We have that warm front that's going to stay to our south and become stationary, providing us with added unsettled conditions. Two tenths of an inch, almost three tenths of an inch uh, through Monday. And we're looking at about just a little over three tenths of an inch uh, ice slip and two tenths of an inch in Newburgh. So we're not looking at a major type of situation in terms of rainfall totals, but it is enough to slow you down nonetheless. And there could be some areas of just some minor flooding to watch out for. 61 in Newburgh, and we did, by the way, confirm now Bridgeport is actually 50 degrees. Thank you, Mike, our weather producer, for, uh, you know, changing that for us and confirming those details. 51, Islip, 49, West Hampton. And our wind gusts, yeah, that's going to be picking up throughout the course of the day, and even the overnight period could get as high as about 30 plus miles per hour. We're not looking at a wind advisory per se, but what that's going to do is help us out in the visibility department because visibility has been hampered. But as those winds continue to pick up, we expect uh, things to become a little bit more clear. But here's a look at our pollen uh, count. We're looking at medium levels tomorrow as well as Tuesday. It does become a bit higher for your Wednesday, so you still got to do what you can to keep the allergies under control. Baseball forecast. Okay, so the series begins begins tomorrow against the Phillies. Phillies, Mets against the Phillies. Uh, we're looking at a wet one as well. So it could be a little bit of a challenge to get through the game. But as we head into Tuesday, much better. We do have some AM showers giving way to some sunshine by the afternoon. So much better shot there. And as we head into Wednesday, another chance for more showers. And then Thursday looks to be chilly and wet. So no break there, unfortunately. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We maxed out at 50. We finally get to 60 where we should be on Tuesday and then a bit cooler for your Wednesday and Thursday. It's going to be kind of a raw day. Uh, Friday, much better. And then we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds for the weekend. Something to look forward to.